there is no universal test for social and emotional skills. There's not a one, one uh, topic or one criteria. What works in one context is not going to work in the other. Very often what we're finding is that students who have not begun to show academic skills or their intellectual abilities, in part because they've been placed in environments that uh, don't uh, support and nurture their social and emotional strengths. These are very often referred to as late bloomers or people who uh, are placed in the proper situation or a suitable situation, I should say, one that's compatible with their intellect will then begin to develop these talents. So it's being able to assess SEL skills in tandem with the academic actually creates a more equitable assessment space yeah. so that, as you said, that the students you characterize as late bloomers have time to show you know, the, the, their expertise, which may have developed at a different speed. Yeah. So it gets to the very heart of this topic of assessment and, and social justice. We live in a society where we have to uh, afford some type of generalization. The key is, in, in my opinion, to, um, to understand which of these components we can begin to, under, uh, to evaluate more systematically. For example, you take arithmetic. And I think that one of the issues now is that we don't completely understand these social and emotional skills. And so we can't simply have a evaluation that fits. And I don't know if there ever will be one, probably not. Um, but I think that by studying them, we can distill some components of them that we can have a standardized metric for.